Here we are at uh, Brahms in the city of Salina, Kansas. And of course, it's the 4th of July. It's probably 9.30 p.m. right now. Here's Brahms, you see? There's Brahms on the side. And uh, there's a store. And, uh, and then there's fireworks. Let's see if we can catch some fireworks here. Yeah, there's, there's some. If you watch them, you'll get a chance to see them. Just thought it'd be a nice little short little two minute or three minute video to show you what goes on in the wonderful city of Salida, Kansas, USA on the 4th of July uh, 2020. Huh. That way you can get a chance to see what goes on. You know, and of course they're from all over the place. So that's a car lot over that way. And of course going back uh, let's see, looking down the street you're looking at right now that's like I guess that would be considered uh, Ohio. Of course, you see that, you know. And uh, well, you know, one of the things about the Fourth of July it gives people an opportunity to get together and have fun and express their feelings about uh, what the Fourth of July represents. And of course, you can hear all the fireworks going off and in the background, the music and see them, and you know. But I. I think the 4th of July represents a little more than that, especially with everything going on in our 2020 pandemic that we're going through right now. It's kind of, it's a little bit different. It's, uh, you've got people out on the streets, and of course, they're doing their thing in the yards, and they're popping their fireworks and stuff, but it makes it a little difficult because they don't have the opportunity to, you know, see the big ones, so, you know, all the places that normally would do that, they corporations that would normally set that up have decided like they probably have everywhere else that it's not a good idea. Too many people gathering in one one place. So the big shows are shut down in the across the, most of the US I from what I understand from the news and <clears throat> so people are just kinda looks like there's a lot of cars that are just riding around that are they're just observing, you know, the peep, the neighborhoods firing off the fireworks. And, of course, like I said earlier, you can hear them. So, you know, they're out there. And, you know, a lot of places. I could turn this phone camera around in different directions and show you a lot more than what you're seeing right now. But I thought it would be a good little piece to, to put together for, like I say, a two- or three-minute video just to give you an idea of, you know, the 4th of July and, and uh, give you a chance to enjoy some of the sight, sounds, and entertainment from the crossroads of America, you know. Uh, who am I? Well, you know my name, but for the sake of music, radio, and all that kind of stuff, we represent uh, radio station KSJ up that radio. Uh, and uh, when we put this video on YouTube, like for those of you that will be watching it there, and for those of you that will be watching it on YouTube, it gives you an opportunity to kind of see what goes on and uh, kind of hear. And of course, those of you who are urban music lovers, or let's change that, let's say soul music lovers or black music lovers, you can always tune in to KSJF Net Radio on your laptop, iPad, iPhone, whatever it is. You can find the URL in the search bar. Get a chance right now. I think it's kind of cool that. We're just showing you some of the things that are going on around the city on this wonderful, great day of 4th of July uh, in the year 2020. <clears throat> okay, well, let's see. I was, um, the reason I'm at Brahms is because me and my partner, they're longtime musicians. We've been in the business of doing music recordings and stuff for a long time. Since 1968, we've been best friends. and. Uh, we're just here and getting some ice because we want to get a bag of ice so that we can cool out like that. But it seems to be taking him a long time. And I'm not really sure what it is, but he's, you know, it's it's getting there. And so sooner or later, he'll be back. So, you know, I will get back with him and uh, give you an update pretty soon. In the meantime, enjoy the sights and sounds of the 4th of July. <laughs> 